This tutorial is on the type tool. The type tool is located in your left panel. When selected, you can come to the upper panel. You can choose the kind of font you want. You can choose whether or not you want regular, italics, bold. You can select the size of the font. And you can also choose how you want it, the text aligned as well as the color of the text. Within your font choices, on the left hand side is the name of the font and on the right hand side is previews of the font. In this scenario, we'll also be importing new fonts. This is the directions for how to import new fonts using a Mac computer. When using a Mac computer, first locate where the fonts are that you want to use. These are the fonts that I want to use. I'll be going to my applications and my font book. Select the plus icon. Go to the location of the fonts that I want to import. Select all and open. I can now close my screen. Let's go back to Photoshop. The fonts that I want to focus on is the Indigo fonts and the Therapist fonts for this specific project. So what I'll do is I'll go on my font selection tool and the first font I want to use is the Indigo font. As you can see, my type cursor is currently up. My current font is too small, so I had to go make my brush a tad bit bigger. So we're going to go with about a 60 for right now. That's perfect. This project is going to be a small business project. Once you have the text type that you want, make sure that you commit to what you have typed. Photoshop automatically creates a new layer. Now, if I want to revise some details in regards to the text, I can by going to the fonts or the character panel. If your character panel is not found in your panel, what you can do is go to window and select character. The character panel allows you to once again select your font allow you to select the size of your font. Select the, uh, the space between the lines of how far apart you want the lines to be. For example, if I wanted my text to be 60 apart, now if I wanted the text to be closer together, I can come right here instance, I'm going to change it to 18. And it basically puts the words almost on top of each other. And if I want them to be spaced out a lot, quite a bit. For example, if I wanted them to be 480 apart, it'll basically take the words off the screen because it's so far apart. In this instance, we're only going to have one line. Also, 
you're able to d decide how far apart each letter is. If I want to bring the letters apart more, I can select a larger number. If I want the letters to be closer together, I can choose a negative number. In the character panel, I can also choose to bold the font. I can italicize the font. If these letters were all lowercase, I can, I can select this and make all the letters all caps. If I wanted to, if I wanted to superscript the letters, I could hit the superscript button. But if I wanted to subscript, I can hit the subscript button. If I wanted to put a, if I wanted to underline the text, I can hit the underline button. Or if I want to do a strike through, I can hit the strike through button. That is the character panel. In this case, we're going to leave the letter small. And I'm going to change the letters to be black. Because I'm doing a small business project, I'm going to select a new font to go on top of my current font. Once again, Photoshop automatically creates a new layer for my new text. And I'm going to drag the new text on top of the word small. So that I can see the word business, I'm actually going to change the color of it to be white. If I decide that I want to change up, if I want to make this my colors two separate colors, what I would do is create a new layer and go to my brushes, select the color that I want my brush to be. For this project, we're going to make the letters a brighter color. We're going to use this color right here. And what we'll do is we'll color right over right over top of our letters. Now ensure that this layer, the new layer is above the layer that you want to affect. I have this, I have the new layer where I, where I use the brush and I placed it above the word business. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, select create clipping mask. And now it affects the word business. This tutorial is on the tight tool.